wrist extension with a therapy band. To start this exercise, you should be seated comfortably with your right foot slipped into a therapy band. Sit upright at the edge of the chair with your right hand grasping the handle of the band as you would the handlebar on a bicycle. Lean forward just a little bit and support your weight with your left hand on your left thigh. With your right forearm held firmly against your right thigh and your wrist resting on your right knee, lift your wrist upward. You have just extended your wrist. You should feel the muscles along your right forearm contract with the movement. Relax and return your arm and wrist to their original position. Wrist range of motion, extension and flexion. Sit upright in a comfortable position, both arms resting on your thighs. Bring your hands together in front of your chest as in prayer. Keeping your palms and fingers together, gently thrust your wrists downward while you bring your elbows upward. This is extension. You should feel the muscles stretch along your hands and wrists. Return to your starting position. Next, place your fingers and hands back to back in front of you, once again at chest level. Keeping the backs of your hands and fingers together, bend upward at the wrist while bending your elbows downward. This is flexion. You should feel the muscles stretch along the backs of your hands and wrists. Once you complete this movement, relax and return to the initial position. Wrist strengthening with a therapy band, radial deviation. To start this exercise, you should be seated comfortably with your right foot slipped into a therapy band. Sit upright at the edge of the chair with your right hand grasping the handle of the band as you would the steering wheel of your car, with your thumb on the top of the handle pointing at the ceiling. Lean forward just a little bit and support your weight with your left hand on your left thigh. Starting with your thumb upright and your wrist in the neutral position, slowly bend your wrist upwards towards the ceiling. This is called radial deviation. You should feel the muscles contract along the outside of your right forearm, closest to the wrist. Relax and return your arm and wrist to their original position. Wrist strengthening with a therapy band, ulnar deviation. While seated comfortably, grasp a therapy band between your right and left hands. Your thumbs should be holding the band securely against your index fingers with your palms facing down. Your elbows should be at your waist and bent at 90 degree angles. Now, while keeping your right wrist parallel to the floor, bend your right hand at the wrist to the right, sliding your thumb across the band. You should feel the muscles contract along the outside of your right forearm, closest to the wrist. Relax and return your arm and wrist to their original position. elbow ranges of motion, pronation and supination. Sit upright in a comfortable position, your right arm resting on your thigh. Begin by lifting your arm straight out in front of your body in a fluid movement parallel to the floor with your palm up. Now, while your arm is held straight but comfortably out in front of you, rotate your palm down so it is facing the floor. You will feel the muscles across the back of your forearm slowly contract. Next, while still holding your arm straight and parallel to the floor, turn your palm back up again. You will feel the muscles across the back of your forearm slowly contract once again. Once you complete this movement, relax and return to the initial position. Elbow ranges of motion flexion and extension. 
Sit upright in a comfortable position, your right arm resting on your thigh. Begin by lifting your arm straight out in front of your body in a fluid movement parallel to the floor with your palm up. Lock your arm in this position and concentrate on lengthening your arm and sending energy out through the fingertips. You should feel a subtle stretching sensation across the top and bottom of your elbow. Now keep your arm parallel to the floor and flex your elbow all the way back towards your body. Again, envision sending energy out of your fingers. You will again feel a mild stretching sensation across the top and bottom of your elbow. Relax, lower your arm, and repeat the stretch on the left hand side. Once you complete this movement, return to the initial position. Finger walking, shoulder ranges of motion. Stand perpendicular to a wall about 12 inches away. Stretch your arm out at your side with your elbow bent at 90 degrees with your fingertips gently resting on the wall. Now slowly walk your fingertips up the wall, stretching your shoulder as high as it will go. Slowly walk your fingers back down the wall to the starting position. Now turn and face the wall, this time with your arm out in front of you. Walk your fingers up the wall once again as high as you comfortably can, and then slowly walk them back down again to the starting position. Forearm strengthening in pronation with a therapy band. Use a chair to sit upright in a comfortable position. You should be seated at the edge of the seat. With your right foot flat on the floor, place a therapy band around your right foot. Grasp the other end of the therapy band tightly in your right hand by the elastic band, not by the handle, with your palm up. Your body should be positioned leaning somewhat forward at the waist. Support your weight with your left hand on your left thigh. With your right forearm resting on your right thigh, rotate the band being held firmly in your right hand to the left. This is called pronation. You will feel the muscles contract along your right forearm. Once you complete this movement, Relax and return to the initial position. Forearm strengthening in supination with a therapy band. Use a chair to sit upright in a comfortable position. You should be seated at the edge of the seat. With your right foot flat on the floor, place a therapy band around your right foot. Grasp the other end of the therapy band tightly in your right hand by the elastic band, not by the handle, with your palm down. Your body should be positioned leaning somewhat forward at the waist. Support your weight with your left hand on your left thigh. With your right forearm resting on your right thigh, tightly grasping the band with your palm down, rotate your right hand to the right. This is called supination. You will feel the muscles contract along your right forearm. Once you complete this movement, relax and return to the initial position. Front arm strengthening with a therapy band. Use a chair to sit upright in a comfortable position. You should be seated at the edge of the seat. With your right foot flat on the floor, Place a therapy band around your right foot, grasping the band handle in your right hand. As you begin, make sure your right elbow is held at 90 degrees and firmly against your right side. Now lift the therapy band handle, bringing your right hand up to your right shoulder. You should feel the muscles of your right upper arm tighten. Once you complete this movement, relax and return to the initial position.
Grip strengthening with a tennis ball. Sit comfortably in an upright position. Grasp a tennis ball in your right hand with the palm up. Your arm should be bent at the elbow at 90 degrees and elevated slightly above your right thigh. Now slowly squeeze the tennis ball in your right hand. You should feel the muscles of your forearm contract. Relax and release the pressure on the ball. Hand and finger stretch. Sit in a comfortable position. Put your hands out in front of you, elbows bent at 90 degree angles and your fingertips touching in a teepeed position. Keeping your fingertips touching, stretch your fingers and hands out as far as they can go. You will feel a stretching sensation in your fingers and hands. Close your fingers, relax and repeat the stretch again. Once more, keeping your fingertips together and stretching as far as you can go. Relax and return to the original position. Triceps stretch. Sit in a comfortable upright position. Now bring your right arm out to the side and behind your head, dropping your right hand below your neck. Then use your left arm to grab your right elbow, gently yet firmly dragging your right arm to the left by the elbow. You should feel the muscles on the right side of your upper back and the outside of your right upper arm stretch. Relax and repeat to the left side. Once you complete this movement, return to the initial position.